Fort Worth fam, what's up? It's the Kid Big Boss Fable. We back with a reaction video, man. You know, we doing our thing, man. We uploading to the channel, all that good stuff. How's everybody feeling? Let me know in the comment section below. And today, we got a Death Stranding uh, video game reaction from Dunk View. Um, the video game Dunky channel. You know, um, he dropped his video yesterday, November 20th, 2019. It's the number one trending video. It's got over 2 million views, over 140K, 140,000 likes, man. So it's going up. You know what I'm saying? I've never heard of video game Dunky, the channel, but I'm going to react to the history, I guess, review or reaction to um, or critique on Death Stranding, man. I was kind of, when I saw the video, I actually thought it was actually a video game trailer. I didn't know it was a dunk view. Um, but anyways, I'm going to hop into it, man. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think of the video in, in the comment section below. Um, hit the notification bell so you notify when I'm posting at all times. And be sure to follow me on Instagram. It's the kid, Fort Worth Fabian, man. Let's get it. Let's get to it, man. Hideo Kojima has famously described Death Stranding as being the first strand type game. Truly, it is a game so unique and revolutionary Fortnite? that he had to create an entire new genre of video games. And now that we can finally get our hands on this innovation, <laughs> we can answer the question that has perplexed us for so long. Just what is a strand type game? Well, it's a special type of game where everything about it is a complete piece of shit. We're gonna have to call this one a failure. Death Stranding is one of the most disappointing video games I have ever played. The gameplay is walking. You put some packages on your back and you walk them from point A to point B. The now, graphics look hard though. What I going for was to transform walking into gameplay, similar to how Zelda turned climbing into a fun mechanic. Many yeah. AAA studios tend to neglect walking, even though it is a major part of nearly every game. But there was actually this one indie game that focused very much on movement, called Mario. Kojima, of course, being a Japanese man, right I heard of this obscure gem, which was developed by a Chinese company in the 1980s, I believe. This game, Mario, was actually the first true strand-type game. That and Phalanx, pretty much all you could do was walk and jump, and it was a hell of a game, although slightly fantastical. The challenge of Death Stranding, of course, is how do you turn realistic walking into exciting gameplay? Uh, well, he not like this, slow. because this is fucking horrible. Come on, Norman. Just oh. Get, oh, 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 God. Of course. Oh, no. Right, get the back. Oh, oh, you're glitching out. And, and there it is. All right. Saying your card was taking too much damage. Sometimes the game says hit the trigger button to balance yourself. Sometimes you just fall over for no reason. Sometimes you shitty muck people grab your leg and you have to hit the square button to shake them off. Sometimes you fall over in a river and lose your packages. Sometimes you fall over in a river and lose your packages and then the shitty muck people start grabbing at you but the square button doesn't work so they drag you 100 yards away from your packages. Sometimes you have to deliver a bomb and if you fall down or hit a bump too hard it will blow up and you have to do it all over again. The obstacles you face and Death Stranding are ones of mild inconvenience, sloppy controls, shallow mechanics, and unrelenting teeth. I hate games oh, like that, bro. They glitch all the time. That's the worst thing. That'd be get pissing me off. Now it starts to get fun. Nah, the game starts to get fun. I've seen people draw comparisons <laughs> to Quop and getting over it, but I feel like this is unfair because in those games, you actually need to do something to win, whereas in Death Stranding, you just do nothing and win anyway. The boss fights. <laughs> The boss fights are a comedic joke. They they do nothing. They have no way of defeating you. The game transforms into the shittiest third-person shooter ever created, and you just unload bullets until the enemy dies eventually. It is non-gameplay. Kojima himself has already responded to critics of Death Stranding by stating, Americans are great fans of first-person shooters, and Death Stranding is not. My game is too original and artistic for Americans to understand, because it is a third-person shooter and nobody would ever play one of those. Where things really get fucked though is the climbing. This is just straight up broken. This is like if they built the entire game of Skyrim around the mechanic where you can run your horse up the side of a cliff. Come on, one second. You can, you can make it up. Okay. Come on. And, yeah. There we go. And then we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh. Oh. There it is. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, 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 it's the first strand type game. This is the first strand type game. This is strand game. Like, you 
guys don't understand this. Only I'm smart enough to understand this. <laughs> Your main tools to assist you are ladders and ropes, except the thing is, you need to literally carry them on your guy at all times. You also need to carry your guns and ammo on you, along with the packages you need to deliver, and the more you're carrying, the harder it is to walk, so the game wants you to travel as light as possible, but at the same time, it continually punishes you for being ill-equipped. Norman Dicus, let's go take a shower. Alright, skip that. Alright. Skip. Skip this cutscene. Still in the shower. Bro, I hate when games one. got a bunch of like. And boom. Go out of the shower. Hey, no the goal of Death Stranding is to build structures that you know, assist other players like, online. And the most the satisfying film part of, of it, these to but then zip it's got hella skips. You know what I'm saying? I hate that. You know what I'm saying? I hate that. Death Stranding. For a game about connecting, the story is ironically unbound to the gameplay. There are cutscenes at the start, then the game happens, then cutscenes at the end. You could literally swap this out and plug in fucking Earthworm Jim, and the story would be completely unaffected. <laughs> What's your reward for delivering these packages? Packages through this horrible terrain to bumble fuck nowhere. A big old exposition. A dump. big old congratulations. What? No, you don't, lady. You are a fucking idiot. Shut up. Shut up. I can't hear my mother's heart. Oh my god. My joy. It's her joy. Her pain. That's really interesting, lady. I'm gonna leave you here now on the side of a mountain and walk away. Goodbye. Bye. This game operates under the Kingdom Hearts 3 method of storytelling, where every single thing has to be explained, but still, there is no context for anything that happens. The characters do not stop talking in this game, ever, and damn, do they have some dumbass shit to say, like the character Fragile. Her famous line is that she goes, Because I'm fragile. But I'm not that fragile. To advance for my brain, Kojima. I want. I just know shooting game. That's I'm dumb guy. Honey, you ain't nothing but damaged goods. Damn. You are damaged goods. Incredible writing, but that shit doesn't even have anything on this part where Norman Reedus makes a reference to the original Strand game. Right. So I'm Mario and you're Princess Peach. And then the lady goes, no, I'm not Princess Peach, I'm Princess Beach, because I'm always on a beach the whole time. And then they start running around on the beach laughing. <laughs> it's almost impossible to believe this is the same guy who brought us the incredibly refined and dynamic gameplay of the Metal Gear Solid series. The actors don't understand Death Stranding. Kojima doesn't understand Death Stranding. So why the fuck should I even bother trying to draw meaning from 40 hours of pointless I mean... rambling? I can only hope got a point that there. this is the last strand type game because it is a complete and utter embarrassment. Oh Baby God. girl, don't cry. I'm gonna have to make the jump. I have to do it. Come on. Damn. Got the truck this time. Now, what's good about the truck is if you hit the X button, it'll actually bounce over the large wheels. One out of five. Bad game. Dang. If you give a game one out of five, it's super trash. You know what I'm saying? But the graphics look pretty dope, man. I've never really gotten to Metal Gear Solid like that. But if this is the same creator, they say he did a whole 180. You know what I'm saying? He went left with it. But um, what I was saying earlier is I hate in games when they have the um, cinematic, you know sections or like the cinematic in between parts in between the gameplay and then it's a million different skips like you skip to go to just an another cinematic part that takes forever or i hate when they don't let you skip man and you ain't trying to watch it you just trying to play the game i mean i love and appreciate the reality that y'all bring into these games and letting us see it from like a movie perspective and making it all realistic and you know pretty looking and visually astounding but I don't care, man. I play. A, I buy a video game so I can play. So I can play a game. I buy a game so I can play it, not watch it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I'm saying. But this is a funny. I, I need to check out video game donkeys um, reviews more often. You know, it's kind of funny. But this game is super trash. You know what I'm saying? I would never play this. Um, 
But yeah, man, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, man. Let me know in the comment section below what y'all think of this game, if you've played it, if you know anything about it. Um, and kind of fill me in on Metal Gear Solid 2, man. I, I never really got into that game like that. You know, what's it... What's the gameplay like? What's it all about? You know, fill me in. The last game that I really played like that was um, Red Dead. I used to have Red Dead. You know, um, I played that heavy as well as uh, that Spider-Man game that came out. Man, I beat both of those games in like a week or two. You know what I'm saying? So really, when I get into a game, I really like RPG type games. When I get into them, I I'll really be on them. You know what I'm saying? I'll knock them out if they're interesting. Um, if they're trash, they're trash. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the last game that I uh, that I couldn't beat or I never got through was The Witcher. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt or something like that. Cool gameplay and all that, but it was just too complex for me. And that's just me. You know, learning all his magic and then like so many submissions and then missions. And it's like, it's just too complex too intuitive you know what i'm saying like it's too much give me one mission and one timeline of missions don't give me missions and then submissions and then mini missions and all this stuff you know what i'm saying it's just all over the place but yeah man comment section below talk to me be sure to like comment subscribe let me know what y'all think of the video let me know what y'all think of the reaction all that all that follow me on instagram at fort worth fabian and be sure to hit the notification bell when you subscribe so you notify when the kid is posting at all times we out y'all